I'm here today at the Plymouth fuel terminal to load Class C flammable liquids into the road tanker. Once I'm on the loading bay and I've applied the handbrake and turned the ignition off, I wait 90 seconds before switching the master switch off to allow the onboard computer to shut down correctly. A typical road tanker is divided into six compartments which allows the driver to load different grades, petrol, diesel, into different compartments and different quantities. First thing connected is the scully lead. The scully lead is connected to earth the vehicle to reduce static electricity. The next thing I put on is the vapour recovery. This allows for the safe transfer of vapours I've picked up from a petrol station to be put back into the terminal safely. I program the Aculate system within the terminal and then I verify once again that the product is the right amount and it will fit into that compartment. I've attached the first loading arm. Um, you allow the product to build up to high flow before you connect the, the next arm. We adopt a ripple loading system here. Uh, the principles are it's one, one arm, one compartment at a time. Get the product going before you move on to the next arm. During loading, I remain vigilant for signs of danger, product leakage, vapour, and I'm ready to activate the terminal emergency shutdown procedure if required. When I finish loading, I've packed all the arms away. I verify that my paperwork matches the PGI's product grade labels on the side and complete a safety walk around of the vehicle to verify that the hazard warning panels are set correctly. Once I finish my safety walk around and I'm back in the vehicle, I switch on the master switch again to activate the electrics and before moving off, I verify that the suspension has reset itself before taking the vehicle off the bay onto the public highway.